difficult news yesterday to, to take from the team leadership group. Uh, how did you how did you take it, and what's the team's resolve now? Yeah, look, obviously it's it's disappointing, uh, but I know personally, and I know the three others have really you know they've taken responsibility for for their actions and. You know, not only just just myself, or, but it, it sends a message to the rest of the team what we're what we're about now. I think, um, you know, we've got a, a group of young players that are all striving for the the same thing. So I think, you know, this is just that I think kicking the bum to make you really realise what we've got, um, and what we really really want, and that that is to get to number one. And I think, you know, people might say it's a you know a harsh punishment for for a small thing, but I think if we look outside the actual you know, thing we did we did wrong, then it's other stuff as well that it builds up. And I think um, if you really look deeply like, like I did at it, um, you can see why it's actually happened. And I think, um, you know, I think it's just going to hold us in a better team, um, better mentality, and I think a better culture in the long run. As a, as a player, there's, I guess there's lots of people out there looking on, thinking you know, they'd give their left leg to, to be a cricketer. Do you really you know, feel like now this is, you know, you, you're taking this and really moving forward? Yeah, look, definitely. I think as a young guy being in the squad, um, when you really look at it and you, you cherish what you've got, um, you know, 22, being able to play test cricket is something that you know, I'm really, really happy about and really excited. But I think... Um, you know, at the same at the same time, it's all about doing the right things and giving 100% to the team. And I think, you know, you, you give 100% on the on the field, and there's no reason why it shouldn't be, you know, off the field as well. So I think, you know, on field success and you know batting and bowling well is you know is is more than half the half the part. But I think there's other stuff off the field as well, like, you know, what's been brought up that really can make a culture really strong in the team. And I think. You know, a group of young players, like I said before, and we really need to build a, a great culture between us because, you know, one day we can be a great team, but at the moment we're not. But I think um, if we can build a good culture, then then one day we will be a great team. Uh, is this something that's been building up over over time, James? You know, do you feel it's a, a group of you know lots of small things have added up to this line in the sand moment? Yeah, look, I think you know as a team, sometimes because you strive for excellence on the field and you, you're doing everything that you. You can possible to, to have success on the field. That sometimes the you know the off-field stuff gets a bit of neglect, um, and I think you know sometimes that that can be the main cause of of some things on the field as well. You know that off-field stuff. So I think you know as as a team we've we've looked at that now, and I think we're going to put a big emphasis now on you know getting that right. Um, you know there's been a few issues in the in the squad without naming any things of. You know that's been you know brought up, but I think this is just the, you know, like you said before the the last bit of the you know the straw that's that's really cracked. So I think hopefully now that you know it sends a key message not only to the team but you know to everyone else that you know we really we're really hungry for you know the the number one spot and we're going to do everything possible to to get that. It's a big twelve months coming up in in Australian cricket. Obviously we're we're really in the middle of an important series now, but you know back to back Ashes, Champions Trophy. You know, do you think this is something that's really going to turn? turn the tide for the team and, and start really a fresh and a positive um, outlook from here? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, like I said before, we've got such a, such a young squad and sometimes as a young squad you can, you know, sometimes forget about what you've got and I think, you know, it sends a message to everyone here that, we're, you know, we're playing test cricket and to be a test cricketer you have to do 100% of things right and give everything for the team because, you know, in the end the there's no individual that comes higher than the team, and I think um, this is a perfect example of that. Um, so le leading into this massive summer we've got, got over in England, and then back into you know the Ashes back home, I think this is just that you know that stepping stone that you know, could lead to something special in, in in the coming future. What have you What have you learnt from this so far? Yeah, look, um, you know, I've had a bit of time to reflect about it now, and I think it's just. You know, really giving you know the 100% for the team. Um, not only just just myself, um, but but everyone else as well. Like I said before, if I if I wasn't in this position, it was someone else that as a team team member, I'd be disappointed in them um, that they've let the team down. And that so, you know, we take responsibility for for our actions. Um, and I think that's that's the the big thing to do is is really just be accountable for for what you do and I think that the big thing is to make sure that everything you, you can possibly do is to for the benefit of the team. Um, as a group of, of young players that's that's the main thing for us right now is being being accountable and doing everything for for the team because one day you know we can be, be a great team if we get this right now. James obviously uh, Shane Watson uh, left 
last night to go home to be with Lee for the birth of his first child, uh, which will be lovely for, for him. Um, you know, do you think he can still come back and, and um, play a role in around the team, even though he's, he said that he, you know, he's going to think about his future? Yeah, look, obviously, you know, Shane's gone back for, for those personal reasons. And um, one thing for sure with Shane, we definitely, we definitely think that he can be back and, and you know, do a great, great job for the team. And um, he's a fantastic guy. And I think, you know, we'd love to have him back come the fourth test. All goes well, you know, back home. So, uh, look, we're, you know, we're right behind Shane as well as a team. Um, so hopefully, you know, Shane gets everything right back home and, and um, can be back for the, the fourth test because we'd love to have him back.